I love this area because it has such a beautiful long promenade and looking like a true Gen Zer with my bucket hat. And clearly I am struggling. Hello. Say something to the people. I have to drive. <laughs> oh, yes. And then after yoga we are gonna go to brunch. Today is a good day. So I am now officially short haired girl. Are you happy with your lemons? <sighs> so I'm gonna go and get changed and look like a mushroom. Hello, it is now like two weeks later after actually all of the things that I pre-filmed for you and uh, if you are an avid follower of my channel then you saw that I had a two week break. I have to say that the last two weeks have been by far the hardest two weeks of my life. I really struggled mentally and I don't want to go like too deeply into the details of why and what happened. Uh, but uh, my father's health um, declined a lot and uh, yeah, I had to spend or I wanted to spend time with him in the hospital and of course it takes a mental toll, etc, etc. Like I'm not going to go into it. I took a break and now I'm back. Um, and this vlog is going to be super random because obviously I filmed some things before the incident. I filmed some things after. And there is no real structure, but since I have these clips and I want to share them, um, here's the vlog and uh, hopefully you still enjoy it and you see kind of a little snippet of my life. Since the series is called Life Unfiltered, this is my real life. It's messy, it's unstructured, it's tough, it's, you know, complicated at times, but uh, it is what it is. And uh, like I said, I still want to put those clips out since I did take an effort to film them. So hopefully you'll enjoy them. And now let's go and get started with the actual chaotic vlog. My mom is preparing some breakfast for my dad and it's been the same time and things like that and I'm pretty useless. I decided to take another walk to Starbucks to get myself a matcha. I think if you watch my vlogs then by now you should know how much I like matcha. And uh, yeah, I usually prepare it at home but since they don't have any devices, this is like my morning treat. After a day like yesterday, I think I deserve it, plus it's again another like 20-25 minute walk there and back. So I'm getting my steps in, I'm getting a little bit of cardio, but the weather is extremely windy. It's really hard to enjoy. It's like weird because the weather, it's actually warm, but the wind is quite cold and it's so consistent that I'm always like alternating between being too hot in all my clothes. But without them, I'm like feeling blown away. Today is definitely more loud and crowded on the streets. You can see that it's a Monday morning. People are running errands. People are busy going to work. Life is bustling in Spain. As always, I will kind of see what the flow is, how everyone is feeling, what's the plans of other people. So uh, I will keep you updated. Her office is right by the sea and uh, now the wind has calmed down a little bit. It's also middle of the day so the sun is in full power and I love this area because it has such a beautiful long promenade and yeah on a spring day like this this is just an absolute dream and uh, I'm actually meeting her because she is a kinesiologist, aromatherapist so 
a lot of like different gists basically and she helps people with a lot of different uh, problems and since I've been having a lot of back pain she's going to have a look at me maybe we will also do like a little aroma diagnostics which is always quite fun and uh, she's also quite good at listening at people listening to people and kind of dealing with problems helping them find a solution etc and since yeah I've been having a rough time maybe she can help me with that I can see that she's already opening the office so I am going to be going on my way and uh, I'll give you an update a little later on how it's going by the way I'm also looking like a true Gen Zer with my bucket hat but somehow I feel like in Spain with this weather it just fits and uh, I'm on vacation anyway so it doesn't really matter but yes see you later okay so the therapy session was intense and you can see control myself just all emotions are way too high and clearly I am struggling and I know it's super cringy to like film yourself crying but I don't know I treat this vlogging thing kind of like a video diary and anyway there's not that many people watching it if you are watching and maybe someone is struggling in anything then they might feel like they're not the only ones but now I really actually have to stop crying because I have to go and pick up the kids from school and from kindergarten and I don't want them to think that I'm crying and then I'm gonna feed the kids and uh, drive them to all the after school activities so it will be fun, it will be fine, I'm fine. <sighs> Sometimes it's just good to let all the emotions out and not keep them in. But we gotta stay positive so next time you'll see me I'll be smiling and playing with the kids. So two little monsters are picked up and they are going to take the camera and talk to you a little bit. Hello! Say something to the people, I have to drive. <laughs> no, I yes. Now. Yes, it's good. Ah. English. What? Do you speak English? A little bit. Hmm, <laughs> little bit. So we are on a walk with my dad. We already walked for around an hour and we went to the bar and now we are on our way back home. It's beautiful weather now. As you can see the sun is setting and we are about to go home to have some dinner and to relax. And now we are back home and we will have a little movie night enjoy each other's company cherish each moment um the movie is actually already started and uh, nothing more planned for today i'm just gonna go on a walk with the dog later on have my me time on a walk so see you tomorrow hello good morning happy tuesday morning I started my morning on my dad duty and I was left all alone so I uh, took care of him you know gave all the medications and things like that which is sometimes hard for me to do since I'm not you know involved daily in this thing so it takes me a while to get into it but I did it and uh, my dad seems to be doing better today he slept really well and um, yeah my mood is also slowly improving and I'm getting back to reality and not so you know cry baby like um, but I am now actually on this beautiful square it is beautiful morning today very nice weather and uh, I'm about to go to yoga with my sister-in-law uh, we just parked and 
yeah she, this is a yoga studio that she goes to regularly that she really likes and she asked me if I wanted to join and of course I'm always into yoga and things like that and especially for mental health uh, the way my mood has been the last few days I think it is going to be great and a bit of movement as well and then after yoga we are gonna go to brunch and then do another therapy session with her actually or therapy session we're just gonna talk do you know it's good to have someone to talk to and to listen to you and kind of see a different perspective on all your life problems so that's the plan for right now and uh, obviously I'm not gonna be filming in the yoga studio because I want to be in the moment and uh, not everyone is comfortable with it so I'll see you probably at lunch let's see what they have I haven't been there before and uh, let's see what else the day brings but I'm feeling better today my dad is feeling better today so things are on the bright side and not everything is in such gray colors today which is a positive Okay, yoga done, brunch done. As you saw, brunch was really tasty. Had some uh, shakes and I had some um, like breakfast bowl with eggs and uh, it was really, really good. And now I'm quickly going to the shop to buy some water because we need it for the aroma therapy to kind of cleanse the palate. So I'm just on my way to the shop and then we'll do our therapy session I will show you some clippets here and there but not of the topic that we're actually talking because that's way too personal but uh, yeah just so you maybe see a little bit of how the process is done we are now here with my dad on the afternoon walk near the promenade and as you can see the weather is so good that I'm with the t-shirt we are in direct sunlight he's having coffee I'm having my water and today is a good day okay so it's the evening and uh, after our walk with my dad we actually were outside for like around three hours with the coffee and then we went to talk with my sister-in-law she, she was still in the office and yeah it was a really long long but good walk uh, we came home had a pizza party with everyone my mom my dad my nephew and me and uh, now i'm outside walking with a dog and uh, yeah, overall I have to say today was a good day, a positive day and I hope there will be more days like that um, this week and all the following weeks of course and uh, I have to say I'm a little bit exhausted from being so much outside in fresh air in the sun I'm not used to that so I'm pretty much gonna go down to bed really quickly so see you tomorrow hello and happy Wednesday uh, it's another beautiful day the, the temperature has definitely gone up and the weather has gotten better and uh, me and my mom are going to have a little brunch before running a few other errands it's uh, my dad's birthday today so we have a few things to do but first we need to you know put something inside ourselves because we are starving uh, both of us didn't sleep so well uh, it was a rough night so we definitely need some fuel my mom is stuck behind me somewhere and is not coming okay and uh, we're going to a place that uh, we uh, like quite a lot it's a nice place with a beautiful brunch um, some like tasty cakes as well and things like that um, and actually two years ago I had my birthday brunch here so it's a nice place um, 
let me show you how it is and how it looks like. Last time you saw me, I got a haircut, so I am now officially short-haired girl. How do you like it? Okay, <laughs> not so much, I guess. No, no. <laughs> and uh, uh, what did I want to say? Now we are on the way home to pick up my dad and uh, then we are gonna go to his birthday dinner we're going to an indian restaurant i think it might still change but uh, as far as i know we're going to an indian place and uh, our whole family likes indian food and my dad as well and it's kind of easy with children and it satisfies everyone's needs so we decided to go there and uh, the place that we're going to is also really really tasty one of the best indians that i know so um, let's see if we do end up going there or not. How is everyone's mood? So I'll update you once we are there. so we are back from dinner it was really nice uh, we had fun you could see that my dad was a bit tired of course there's a lot of emotions and especially with kids it can get quite loud uh, but it was still you know nice to get out of the house I'm on my daily evening walk with the dog I actually really enjoy it I love having walks and uh, like this I also have kind of like a purpose to go on walks and uh, yeah i don't know how interesting this vlog is because i'm basically just filming us walking and eating it's a little bit chaotic uh, of course there's a lot of parts that i'm not showing that are not maybe so fun for anyone but uh, yeah i just don't want to document that so hopefully that's okay for you uh, but yeah now i'm just gonna do my evening rounds go to bed because our days here start quite early with all the routines so uh, see you tomorrow we stopped at the ed edge of the road to take some lemons because my mom really wanted to get those there's a lot of lemon fields all across the road here are you happy with your lemons ah <sighs> yes Hello, it is Thursday and as you saw on the way uh, we stopped at a lemon tree because we drove through like a lemon uh, alley and uh, yeah, my mom really wanted to get the lemons and the smell is really really incredible but uh, we, me and her are going today to like a thermal spa I mean spa is a little bit of a fancy word for what this is, it's not that fancy uh, which is around an hour drive in the middle of nowhere. It kind of looks like a alien, uh, I don't know, planet. There's really nothing there except of these uh, thermal baths and um, the water there is around 40 degrees. It's really warm and it's really relaxing. And uh, today again the weather is beautiful, sunny, so we're gonna enjoy a little bit before uh, getting back to our errands in the afternoon. So uh, yeah, let me show you around in the baths. 
Uh, the views there are pretty breathtaking and uh, we're just gonna enjoy a little bit of mother-daughter time which is also needed sometimes. So here it says that the uh, waters are hyperthermic and after one hour uh, you can feel a lot of uh, alleviation from pains and muscular pains and also your nervous system so it is very very good for your health and uh, very relaxing which is what we all need once in a while and the bird chirping are really beautiful my mom's getting the tickets so let's see but before going to swim we got a little salad because we were both starving and uh, one thing to note is that the average age here is around 75 plus i think i'm by far the youngest person here but by like triple my age um, so it's quite cute and funny but it is a relaxing place well, as you come in here this is kind of like a shower area and then this is the main big pool and i love the palm trees and yeah it's not that big but it's very very warm and again very nice and as you can see all the people are enjoying it and in the back right here there is also a little jacuzzi area and then in the summer here is normally another pool with slightly cooler water uh, but since no one uses it in the winter time it is currently closed uh, but yeah normally this is very big area and people kind of divide themselves up between cool and hot water and then in the back area here there's uh, like a chill out lounge places to relax and uh, to enjoy the view and kind of disconnect and then this pool right here is with ice cold water or at least it was last doesn't look like it's that cold judging by the way people are swimming but yeah there is a lawn some more palm trees and very very relaxing atmosphere and let me show you the view because it is really nice we will have to zoom in a little bit but it's worth it so all around here there's mountains there's desert there's some palm trees and uh, yeah like i said it's really middle middle of nowhere but it's worth the drive and uh, yeah so this was my little tour of the place it has a little bit of a deeper um, meaning it's very old it has uh, some Arabic uh, culture in the history as well and uh, yeah it's a nice place and if you are in the area I think you should visit it is very relaxing both for the body and the mind uh, but enough with the tour I'm gonna go and get changed and uh, actually enjoy the time with my mom since uh, it's her last day before she leaves so I'll update you later once we are in somewhere else and doing something else. Oh yeah, but one thing I forgot to mention that is just a cherry on the top is that you have to wear these beautiful swimming hats and you kind of have to tuck your hair away, obviously. So it's not very aesthetic, I don't know why, but a lot of Spanish like pools, spas require these beautiful hats. So I'm going to go and get changed and look like a mushroom <laughs> and yeah, enjoy the, enjoy the water as it is, but these hats are always killing me, I find it so funny. Since the last time I updated you, we actually went to pick up the kids. We uh, went on a walk with my dad, I didn't film it, but we had our routine walk with a cup of coffee. It was beautiful sunny weather as always. And uh, now I, in the evening, had a massage. I went to a Thai massage because it was really much, 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 much needed. I was extremely tired and I'm just a big fan of massages in general, so it was like a huge relief and exactly what I needed. And it's also a bit cheaper than it is in Germany, so of course I always use the opportunity to do that. And 
Now I'm just walking home. I'm not sure exactly what the plans are for the evening. Probably nothing spectacular. We're just gonna chill out. Tomorrow I have to drive my mom at uh, 3 a.m. to the airport. She's going to Finland. So I'm just gonna stay with my dad and my nephew for the last couple of days that I'm here. So it'll be <laughs> another rough night and uh, yeah, not so much sleep. But uh, if nothing happens today anymore, um, see you tomorrow. And if something does happen, probably not. See you in a bit. Since I 